Uh, welcome back, everyone. As he competed for the lead role of Joseph in the TV talent show Any Dream Will Do, many of us will remember Lee Mead gracing our screens on a Saturday night. He won and appeared in the West End, but now he swapped his technical dream coat for nursing scrubs as he takes on a new role in the hospital drama Casualty. Yes, we'll talk to you. Morning, Lee. Morning. We'll talk to you in a moment. First, we're going to see, uh, <laughs> see you in a moment. But first, uh, here he's wearing neither, apparently. Yeah. I know how to breathe, OK? Leave me alone. Just go away, OK? Help! Hey, I'm coming. I'm sorry. There's absolutely no way I'm going to leave you like this. If that upsets you, I'm sorry. This is me telling you. You need to let me help you, OK? You know, in cartoons, when people step on rakes, if you flip up and smacks him in the face. Don't you manage to get it right through your foot? I'll never know. I sort of oh. feel that we need to explain why yeah, you have no top on. Yeah, it needs a bit of explanation, that one. Yeah. No top on. I'm hoping that's the only time I'll be having my top off in the show. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's going on? I've got no idea. Um, yeah, the, the character there, that's Amanda, who plays Robin, and, and uh, I've, I've basically legged it through the house, because my, my dad owns some student flats, and Loffy's around 30 years of age, and he's... Spending his parents' money, going out drinking, and, and keeps saying that he's going to get a job and doesn't. So he ends up staying in the loft of, of this student flat. Right. And gets caught doing the ironing by Robin and uh, goes for a run over some fences. <laughs> but are you, are, in the show, are you a paramedic of some kind? I'm a nurse, yeah. I'm a trained nurse. nurse. Okay. I just can't be bothered to get, get a job because I'm, I'm or so Or put I'm your lazy. top on. No. <laughs> 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 he's trying to iron his shirt. It's, it's quite complicated. It's all, yeah. It becomes obvious when you see it. Yeah, um, I'm, a big, I'm a yeah. big fan of Casualty. So you're coming to a soap which you know people are hugely fond of. Huge um, show, yeah. And, and ca characters that have been there for so many years as well. Mm, like Derek Thompson, who plays Charlie. Exactly. Charlie yeah. was asking me if Charlie was still in. I'm like, yes, of course yeah, he's, he's still, still there. there. Still <laughs> there. Right from day one, it's extraordinary, isn't it? Oh, it's brilliant. Yeah. And uh, as going into a medical drama, uh, uh, we often talk to actors who are in medical dramas, and, the, and they, they, over a period of time, they gather a bit of medical expertise. They do. Fortunately, I'm not a doctor because they have so much more to learn. Yeah. But I've, I've said the word tachycardic about 20 times, oh. which, is, which is good. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the only one so far. Do you have, I mean, it's a silly question to ask whether you, do you, as you're looking at your script, presumably you do have to ask, you know, what is that? Yeah. Otherwise you, you would be just, you wouldn't know on earth. There's been a couple of panic on. moments, yeah, but there's, a, there's a, a, usually a person that's on set, a trained nurse on, on set that can help you with, with dialogue and, and terminology. So. Did you ever, ever imagine, um, way back, uh, before, before Joseph, before all of the rest of it, that you would be in EastEnders? I mean, was that an ambition of yours? or EastEnders? Or, uh, <laughs> casual, <laughs> casual demons? I'd, 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 I'd like you to be in EastEnders. You could try to do EastEnders. If anyone's watching. Who's just got your pass, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Um, Did you really How about that? <laughs> yeah, um, not, not at all. I mean, I, actually, I trained. I went to New York to study acting for three months because I've right. done a lot of theatre. And sometimes in this country, it's hard to make that transition when, you, when you've done musicals and plays. And I, I've had a couple of guest steps on, on things over the years. But what have you been on? Not in Casualty. <laughs> oh, you were on Casualty I, I was, previously. I was, a, I was a teacher three years ago. A walk on, a speaking role. That is a, is a lead role for a guest step, and then a, a thing for Sky called Bedlam. I played a character called Scott, yeah. So it, it took it taken about four years to, to get this role, mm. but uh, it's been good. And it's quite difficult, different from the musicals, isn't it? Very different, yeah. The, Which the, the you prefer? Um, well, it's shorter days doing theatre, because you, you, you pop in at half six and you're done by ten. <laughs> but um, I think I prefer doing this for now, because it's, it's, it's a new experience yeah. for me, like being on set. And you've literally got a crew, an amazing crew of 50, 60 people shooting one scene sometimes between two or three people and, and the way the whole thing comes together is just amazing. You were thrown right into the spotlight weren't you? I mean you signed up to the to the deal uh, yeah. in the oh. talent show that was to, to propel you into you know kind of instant stardom wasn't it and there was a, yeah. a lot of interest in you you know professionally privately. There was it's yeah. Quite a lot it to takes, take on board wasn't it? Yeah if, if you're not that way inclined it takes time to adjust to that as well. Can't was it comfortable for you? Being um, there not, not initially no I found it quite Quite strange, actually, but that was seven years ago now. That's mad. I thought I'd bring the coat for you today, but oh, <laughs> it's somewhere up back. Have you still got it? Yeah, it's, in a, it's in a box somewhere with dust. Oh, that's all. Yeah. And um, so you film where? Where do you film this now? Then we're in Cardiff, so I'm back to work today. Yeah. Um, back on set at three o'clock to about half seven tonight, and uh, we've got weekends off, which is great as well because I can see my daughter. And yes, yeah, so you got a little girl. How, how old is she now? Betsy, she's uh, she's four in May. Oh. Yeah. 
So it's, it's, it works really well. I've got weekends free and depending on storylines, odd days off during the week as well. So. And is, is there a great camaraderie amongst the, the cast? I imagine when you've had a lot of people, I mean, you mentioned Charlie a moment ago, character yeah, Charlie, cheeky, actually. Uh, who has <laughs> been there a long time. Is he like the daddy of the thing because he's been there he's so like long? He's like the godfather of casualty, I think. Yeah, he's, he's brilliant. He, often I go past his dressing room and he's got about three guitars in there and he's playing away. I've actually, I've actually managed to get, get him to sing along. I'm doing a concert in Cardiff on the 4th of May because I've got my show that I tour as well and he's agreed to come and do a song, which is brilliant. Oh, so. that'd be great. And you've uh, also done a film, haven't you? Or doing a film? Yeah, I was, I was in Indi India last week. I flew to Japur for one, one day's filming. It was a 25-hour round trip, but it was my first feature film, which is great. It's called Utopia and it comes out in festivals hopefully end of the year or start of 2.15. So it's pretty... Exciting times. Busy yeah. times. Yeah, well, busy time. Good yesterday. luck in casualty. Thank you. And I wouldn't have been a big fan, things. so... <laughs> yeah. Whatever else, lose what you're in for. Yeah. Uh, you can see Lee in his new role in Casualty on BBC One tomorrow night, 20 past nine. Uh, that's all from us this morning. I'll be back with Sally tomorrow. Let's have a great weekend. See you soon. Very good. Thank you.